half a world away from all of the fighting and protests in the Middle East. Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Chinese President Xi Jinping met today in Beijing, both refusing to condemn Hamas, clearly taking a side in this war. Will Ripley is out front. Russian President Vladimir Putin, an accused war criminal in the West, a guest of honor in Beijing. Chinese President Xi Jinping feasting with a fellow strongman, triumphantly toasting their vision of a new world order. A world prioritizing Palestinians over Western-backed Israel, pitting the Putin-Xi world against the U.S.-led free world. Russia and China refusing to strongly condemn the Hamas attack. Putin placing blame on the U.S. for the conflict, not Hamas gunmen, who also took Russian lives. Both Beijing and Moscow criticizing Israel's actions, condemning Tuesday's deadly hospital blast. The Palestinians say hundreds died. Russia calling it an act of dehumanization, urging Israel to prove its innocence. China says Israel played a part in provoking Palestinian rage. Decades of diplomacy without a two-state solution. Israel has the right to establish a state. Palestine has the right to establish a state as well. China's heavily censored social media overflowing with pro-Palestinian posts and plenty of anger aimed at Israel and the U.S. One user writes, the only way to get peace in the Middle East is for the Jews to move to America and build a nation there. President Xi welcomed Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas in June, part of Beijing's bid for a bigger role in Mideast diplomacy and its desire to reshape the U.S.-led world order building on the historic deal it brokered this year, restoring ties between Iran and Saudi Arabia. China says it's sending a special envoy to the Middle East to help with a political settlement. China and Russia now calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, positioning themselves as possible peacemakers, both ignoring the irony of Putin's own brutal war, spilling blood on the battlefields of Ukraine, Far from the front lines, the leaders and representatives of some 140 nations are expected here in the Chinese capital. Leaders of key Western allies noticeably absent. A perfectly timed distraction from Putin's problems at home. Parading himself before flocks of friendly state media outlets. Putin's heaping praise on China's powerful leader and Russia's loyal patron, Xi Jinping. He makes long-term plans for the future it's what differentiates the true world leaders from what we call temps. Temps only show off on the world stage for about five minutes before becoming lost to world history. Putin and Xi, possibly leaders for life, predicting a global power shift, the decline of democracy, the rise of strongman rule. You could hear in Vladimir Putin's interview the disdain he has for democratically elected leaders. And President Biden has said that this battle, Aaron, between democracy and autocracy will be the defining battle of this century. All right, well, thank you very much. And thanks so much to all of you for joining us.